Okay, anyway, let me uh, get started, okay? So today will be the next first session. I'm going to go over the the overview of the course for uh, orientation. So first one, this one is the textbook. So I copy to the checkbox. So you should actually try to bookmark this one. Is that okay? Hear me? Hello, everybody hear me? Hello. Yes, hear me? Yeah. So let me see. So right now I have Jordan. So Jordan, you hear me? Hello? Yes, Jordan, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, Nelson, you hear me? Hi, Nelson. You hear me? I'm trying to check everybody's uh, uh, microphone. So Nelson, if you hear me, just reply me, okay? Nelson, did you hear me? Hello, you hear me? Okay, so actually you are not allowed to activate audio. So next time, please uh, add audio, okay? Next one, Jaden, are you ready? You uh, hear me? Yes. How about Justin? Hear me? Hear me, Justin? Hello. Uh, look like another. Uh, so look like. He said his mic isn't working. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hmm. So anyway, all of you please actually access the uh, the textbook. So there will be no hard copy of the textbook. We will be using this one. Sing Java 2.0 is free and it's online. Is okay. That this is would be the textbook. So please bookmark this one. So bookmark you actually come to here. Say usually you come to uh, Chrome or something. You have here. You have a star. Please click that and then bookmark uh, this page. Is that okay. So this one's a textbook. So here actually for me, I actually usually come to here. I can get the textbook over here. Okay. So that's the textbook. Second one. Now we need to have a software. So software we are using is called BlueJ. So type BlueJ.org. Organization org BlueJ.org. Okay. Come to here. You can download the software. So it actually is BlueJ. Org. Please come here to download. So if you have Windows, download this one. If you have Macintosh, so download this one. If you are using Android, sorry, Android, you cannot use this project. So Android is not okay. Any question? Any question? I know. No? So please click it and it will actually download, okay? Click this one, it will actually download, okay? And I have already installed it, so I don't need it. Let me see, let me handle another one, okay? Hmm. Pablo, let me actually have, let me send the link to Pablo's mom, okay, for a moment. So you please uh, download it, okay? So Justin, can you share your screen, Justin? I'll see if you are downloading. And I'll use you as an example right now. Is that okay? Justin, hear me? Or Jordan, maybe, okay, if Justin cannot hear me. So Jordan, can you actually share your screen? Uh, so yeah. That, yeah, I know that you are actually installing. That's the whole purpose, okay? And then while you are actually trying to download, go to BlueJ, please. Go to BlueJ. Uh, I have it. I have everything downloaded right now, like the uh, stuff downloaded. Yeah, you're downloading. I need you to download it. I don't need you to run it. Oh, you it's already it. downloaded. Are you downloading already? Yeah. Okay, then you bring it to install, please. So uh, I want you to show the installation. Where is your software? So Jordan, please share your screen and try to install the project. Have you installed it or no? It's installed already. You installed I installed already? it before. Um, yeah, oh, okay, before class. class. How about that? Um, uh, let me see. Let Nelson do it. Okay, Nelson, can you share your screen? Yeah. 
that's a knee. I need someone to show the screen so I can guide step by step to install the software. So Nancy, can you do it? Yeah. Can you do it? Hello. Someone what? Let me see. Yeah, can you do click the click the windows? Click the windows. Windows. You are using windows, right? Click the windows. No, that is one. Go back go back to the go back to the blue J side. Now here. Hmm, how comes you do not allow me to do a notation? So I mean click this one. Click this one. And actually you do not allow me to control your machine. Uh let me see. Okay, Justin, let me admit him. Stop sharing. Can you click the windows? Oh, it's downloading. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are downloading. Okay, good, good. Sorry for that. Actually, your microphone doesn't work. Let me try another one, actually, who has a microphone. So you are keeping downloading. That actually is good, okay? Let me try a different person, okay? So let me try a different person. Okay, let me see. Uh, we, I need someone who actually uh, has the, had not installed, but actually, actually had, had audio. How about Noah? Are you okay? Uh, I already installed it. You installed it already? Mm -hmm. How about Jalen? Jalen, can you do it? I stopped sharing. You share your screen, Jalen. Can you do it? But Sharon, can you, uh, Sharon Thomas, can you actually share your screen? Yes, good. So here, scroll up, what's your computer? Let me move up, what's your computer? Okay, so here, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Scroll up, scroll up. Yes, the top, that's the top. We click this, go back. We don't need the history page. We just need the, original page okay move up move up move down move down, move down. go down you download this one double click on windows you will look like it's a window machine double click it okay okay good it's actually downloading okay it's downloading you keep it there okay keep it there <laughs> don't move okay don't do anything else now you actually let me do this one okay you actually should right here come to here you have other things to download okay so that one is downloading that's actually fine. Yeah, it grant me the controls, but actually right here, I create a new tab, okay? Inside a new tab, in addition to this one, I also you also need a pzip for data compression, okay? So you compress your file, you need this one. So that's also download this pzip, okay? So now I'll leave you, let you uh, handle it, okay? So click the 64-bit, PG64-bit, click this one, 64-bit one, please. Yeah, and download your PG as well. Okay, and you will keep going because actually you, uh, you, you have not download everything, okay? Yeah. So download, it actually she moved down a little bit. I think it's this file, right? Yeah, it keep downloading. Okay, good. Okay, that one is good. So now the third one, you also double click another tab. So now we need the notepad double plus. Okay, click this one. We will see which one come up first. And then you do this one. And then 32 bit, okay, download 32 bit, okay. So you have three program keep doing. 
uh, we actually go too fast. So I actually have three versions. Okay, this one, let me see, show in the folder, okay? Wait. One moment, okay? Show in folder, okay? Uh, can you stop sharing this one? You share only by browser, that's not good. Share desktop, please. Okay. You do redo sharing, but don't share browser. I don't need to look at share. I need to see if the installer is up. I cannot see it right now. I can only see your uh, browser. I don't know where to go to do that. You actually do share, and share, you should share desktop, not sharing software. Can you do that again? Uh, share desktop. When you do share, you, you see a green button, and that is share, and you do share, uh, share desktop. Is that okay? Desktop. Yeah, desktop, share desktop. Uh, what, you where is that? desktop? Hmm? Desktop, you share desktop. Where is the button? The button is down, you, uh, well, I mean the green one, right? The green one. Yeah, I press share screen. Share screen, but I do not see any screen right now. Um, and then now I'm at the spot where it says, uh, it says screen whiteboard iPhone slash iPad downloads and all of the that stuff. You you have you do not share your screen right now. I don't see your screen. I just see you a picture. Can you redo sharing? Let me actually break it. Okay, I already and that you uh now I'm sharing. So I break you already. You're not sharing right now. So now actually let me do this one. Let me actually. Stop sharing and you share again. You should be able to click the share screen and there's a desktop. Share desktop. Don't share screen. Yeah, Mr. Chow, can you hear Justin now? Yeah, yes, yeah, I can hear now. Okay, so now that can you share? Yeah, well, this is the share. Yeah, so here we have the installer. So we double click on that one, okay. So now I request for remote control, okay? So here, grant me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so click OK. Click Next. Okay, that's the installation of, of no petable plus. Uh, I agree. I agree. Yes, this one, okay, click Next. Uh, this one, just click Next. Uh, click the Create Shortcut on desktop. Click the Create Shortcut on desktop. Yes, click install. Yeah, okay, it's ongoing, okay? So click finish, that one is okay, it's finished that. Okay, now, so everybody, if you have no Peta Plus, double plus, please uh, install the similar way, okay? Now you, let's do this one, we bring up your browser again. Okay, so here you install that one, and we have BlueJ, we have PJ all uh, as well. So now let's do this one. Uh, Blue J show folder. So click show folder. So here you will come to here. Double click on this one installer. So that will install Blue J. Okay. So here click next. Okay. Install. Uh, so here you would like to install for all users. So this one choose for all users. So in case that your parent come and may also want to use it or someone come want to use it, you will be able to use it. So this one, please choose for all users and click next, okay? Create a file folder association with good menu shortcut. No, I don't need menu shortcut. Uh, desktop control, yes. This one, okay. Uh, install. Okay.
So that will install uh, Bluejay for us, okay? And Bluejay is the main uh, program we are using for Java programming, okay? So that is more important than any other tool. If Bluejay is not working, we cannot do anything, okay? So you be keep going and we will wait until it's done, okay? And we'll start to do something. Mr. Chow? Yes? Um, I, I just got here, so um, where do I start? Uh, you started, uh, who are you? Who's your name? What's your name? Nelson. Nelson? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, one moment, okay? Let me actually click finish for, uh, for Jalen, okay. So he finished it, and then to now let's click this one. This one. Close this one. Minimize this one. Okay, right now on top of the window he actually has the blue J, okay, and he also has a, a no no pet double plus, okay. So he look look like he actually have everything uh, on his desktop. So now I double click the blue J, okay? It doesn't seem to work for some reason. It doesn't seem. So, Jalen, can you double click the blue J? Where is that at? When you get oh, is that, I'm clicking it. You didn't see it? So, blue J is this one. No pet double press is this one. Please double click on this one. Oh. Double click on that one. Okay, one moment. I'll handle the email for for uh Pablo's man, okay? One moment, actually. So many things going on, okay? Don't worry, uh, give me some time. Sorry, I actually trying to send the meeting ID to uh, Pablo. Okay, one moment. You you keep uh, actually installing. Okay, it bring up the project already. Okay, one moment. Let me send out the meeting notice before we come back to here. Okay. So here, let me see. Okay, I sent out the notice already. Okay, good. You are in the blue chain now. Okay, so here let me actually uh, actually clean your page. Okay, good. This one actually is the blue chain. Let me see. Okay, you, you, uh, the internet, your internet actually is slow. So now I need to create a new project. So I do click project. Everybody see it or no? Yeah. Once your project is up, uh, actually click the new project, okay? And then here has you say uh, Thomas, but don't do this one, do choose, okay? That will go to a area that controlled by Microsoft. I don't like that. So a better way is that we go to this one, this, this PC, okay? So here, uh, C window, uh, it actually quite a few. So right here, I will create a new folder so here, let's see, I call this folder uh, Jalen, 
okay? And then go into this uh, JDM folder, and right here, I will create a directory folder. Under the JDM directory, right here, I will have, say, Java, okay? So Java project go into here. And now today we are on uh, actually chapter one. So I will create a folder. This folder I call it BooJ, okay? I will actually call it BooJ. So I go into BooJ and then select this BooJ folder, okay? I enable uh, proper, okay? So now I'm in here and I'm going to create a project called chapter one, okay? Chapter one and then do okay. So that create a project uh, chapter one. And this chapter one actually located where? Whenever you bring up a folder, okay? It is on your this PC, okay? On C drive, okay. on, C drive. on there is Jaden. Inside Jaden is a Java. Inside Java there is a BooJ. Inside BooJ is chapter one. Chapter one here I have a package and a readme, okay? Is that okay so far? So here, that's as soon that we actually create a new class, okay? And this one is called it hello, H-E-L-L-O, -L -L okay? This one called hello, and then we double click on hello. Go into here, uh, these are garbage, so this blue one, typically I just delete it, okay? And the inside here, this inside are all garbage. Okay, delete it. Okay, so this one is the first legal program that you can do. You can compile it, it will pass. Okay, but it do nothing. It do nothing is fine. We keep just like this, and then we can type public. Okay, static boy man. That braces, uh, that, uh, that uh, parenthesis is string bracket bracket a r t s. Okay, something like this. Okay, and inside here I put system dot out print ln. Okay, ln means print line. So you print a line, and here put hello world. Okay, so this one is the program. So let me copy this thing. Okay. And then maybe, let me see which one I can do. This one, the Zoom software. Can I get the Zoom software? Ah, oh, sorry. Anyway, let's do compile first, okay. Do that I cannot control his uh, Zoom software. So here, and then I do run. Uh, here, actually, I don't have mouse control. So, Jaden, can you come here? The, the, I can do keyboard, but somehow he's uh, I cannot control his mouse. So, can you do right click on this hello? Um, right click on this hello. Mouse click. Right click on this hello. Right um, click on right click on hello. Right click. Yeah, move down to the main. Yeah, that one. No, no, second one, second one, second one. Yeah, that one. Click, click, click OK here. Click OK. Yeah, you see the program wrong with some result. Is that OK? So after this point, we know it actually is OK now. OK, so we can close the window. We can even close this window. OK. So now, every time you come to here, the program, we finish one program. Go to Jiren directory, go to Java, go to BooJ, go to chapter one. Here, double click on package. It will bring back your uh, BooJ, and you will come back to this project. Is that okay? So you need to know where your project go to, and then you actually uh, be able to click the project. So. Here, for example, if I want to create a second project, and this second project, I do new project. Now I don't want to put it on BooJ. I actually would like to, I would like to put also on this BooJ, but I don't want to have chapter one. I say I want to put on test uh, project, okay? And over here, I do test. 
So here I have a test one uh, program. Okay, inside test one program, I delete these. Okay, and I delete these. These are not needed. Okay, these are not needed. Okay, these are not needed. Okay, so over here again, we type P U B L I C. Okay, public. V O I D, okay, void, and then S T A T I C. I mean, I'm sorry, I should be public, and then static go first, okay, static go first, and then void, okay, and then main, and then you do left right uh, parentheses, and inside the parentheses, you type string, left right brackets, A R G S, okay, outside. We we'll put curly brace, curly brace, left right curly brace, and hit return, hit return two times. So we can write program over here now. Is that okay so far up to here? I try to create second program now. So always public, static, boy, man, and string left right uh, bracket arguments. So basically, this one is a template. Every time you do similar thing like this. Okay, and then I don't know where should I post. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'll send later. Okay, I'll send later. But right here again, you do system dot out dot print line. This time I put one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five. You should get what fifteen, right? You should get fifteen. So compile and right click main and click OK. We get 15. Is that okay? So go back to your uh, this one is directory view. You put say you have the test. That's a second program. And over here you have test one that Java. This one we pre edit with Nobel double plus. You see the same program. Is that okay? You know, okay, you see the same program. So, a Java file, a Java file is the program file. Any file called the Java is the same as any text file, any text editor file. This one can be accessed by your BlueJ. It can also be accessed by Notepad Double Plus. It can also be accessed by Notepad, okay? It actually is a text file. Everybody can, uh, most of the editor can access it. So here, let's see. Here, if I say one plus two plus three plus four plus five, here I put plus seven, six plus seven, and then I do save, okay? And I close it, okay? I close it, I come back to here. And I double click on my test one, see, six and seven are edit. So two actually are sharing the same file, okay? You make modification, I'll see it. I make modification, you will see it. And here I change the uh, wrong it again. It will be sum of, you get the sum of one, two, seven. Where is it? Yeah. You get 28 now. Is that okay? So here we go back to the directory, go back to where the files stay. So here, under Jaden, under Java, under BlueJ, now has a test and, and uh, chapter one. So let's choose to chapter one, a uh, test. Right here, we have the test one, the Java. So this one is the program file we have. So if I open with something else, say, I uh, actually try to uh, look for, let me see, let me go to Microsoft. Mm, no. Okay, and I come to here, I cannot find anything, but I actually come to here to find Notepad. Okay, so I actually double click Notepad. 
okay so i print on notepad and i actually do file open and then go to this pc go to c drive go to uh, jalen go to java go to bj go to test one uh, here i actually would like to choose all files all file means all extension is okay so i double click on test so you also see this notepad also see it okay yeah. So blue chain file is the same as text file as whatever document you have you write as a text file. Is that okay? It's the same, the same kind of file, except the name is called that blue chain. Is that okay? So again, at this moment I actually put all of his file under C drive, under Jaden, okay, under Java. And it's all in this approach, okay? Every program is over there, okay? Uh, let me see. Let me actually stop him, and then I change to another person to help another person, okay? So now let me try to help uh, Nathan, okay? Nathan, can you share your screen? Okay. So share the screen. You share the screen. You share desktop. So now I want to see where is you. Can you bring up your Bluetooth? Have you installed it or no? And is it can uh, can you speak or? Can you find your Bluetooth desktop? Did you, have you installed it or not? Yeah, this one's okay. So double click on left side, yeah, pin, pin that, okay. So again, you are here, okay. So this project, we don't know which one it is. But now in order to actually make sure that actually you put everything in one place. Can you try to allow me to uh, control your computer? At this moment, you actually do not allow me to control your computer for some reason. So you have to check your setting for your, what's that? You don't know how to do it? Uh, I don't know either because right now I, you, you, it had to be done by you. You have to release your control so that I can control your computer like what I did for uh, Jaden. Okay. Number one, you need to have one microphone that actually is working. Okay. So always allow, you should allow, you should allow, you should allow. Hello, try to say something. Okay, number one, you need to check your microphone and also need to uh, check for, also need to check for your, uh, your, your control for this uh, room, okay? So I have to take this one offline some other time, okay? Because uh, actually, if you cannot share, I cannot control your computer, okay? So now let me share and I stop sharing. So next one, let me try Justin, okay? Okay, now Justin, have you downloaded your things? Have you installed? Let me let me try one by one. You have you downloaded Blue Jay? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, click the Blue Jay. Click the Blue Jay one. Click the Blue Jay one. Look like you haven't uh, installed that one. Okay, good. Double click on Windows. You are Windows machine, right? Double click on Windows. Can you turn your volume a little bit up? I can barely hear you. What? I can barely hear you. Can you turn your volume up so I can hear you better? Your microphone's uh, volume. Huh? Hello? Yeah? Okay, double click on Windows. Oh, yeah, it's I'm downloading. Okay, that's fine. That's downloading, that's fine. Let's do a uh, double click on uh, PZ, please. Double click on the PZ on the, in the bottom. 
Okay, let me request for control now. Okay, I'll request for control. So here you also need to install this one uh, PG, okay? Okay, so come here, click on this one. Click on this one and show folder, okay? Show folder will show you where it is and double click on this one, okay? Please click yes. I cannot see it, but please click yes. Can you click yes? Uh, it says administrator and password. And your computer agent maybe is not owned by you. It's owned by your parent or someone. Have uh -huh. your dad come here to key in the password for you? So all of the three computer uh, software, you are going to install all need his uh, password, okay? Because you want your account is another uh, the admin uh, account. Your account is not an admin account, okay? There is a bit of a clogging problem. What? Uh, Mr. Chow. Yes. I think my I think my dad left. <laughs> I was Gecko makes it easy to bundle our renters and car insurance. Your dad's what? For huh? Yeah, what happened? My dad isn't home right now. Your dad is not home right now. Okay, okay. And then you cannot proceed as well, okay? Because I don't have the password, right? I How can I have the password? I cannot help you. So yeah. I cannot help you. So you pretty much need to install all of them. So Jordan has it and we have uh, Jaden almost had it. So we have Noah, I think you ha have already installed it. Okay, let me check Jaden again. Okay, Jaden, can you share your screen? Let me go through everything for Jaden now. Okay, make sure he has it. So he has the two software installed it and how about uh, the PZ, PZ you installed already, right? Jaden, right? Yes. Yes, so you're done. So we have only Justin Nathan uh, not able to install at this moment. But Nathan, you need to have a microphone so that I can hear you, number one. Number two, we need to check your setting for Zoom. Do that you do not allow me to do remote control, so I cannot control your computer. In case that I need to change your call, I cannot help you. Is okay, so that is also needed. You have these two things you need to sew up. Then Justin, your machine uh, need your desk uh, password to go through. Okay, so we have done whatever we can do so far. So what we will do right now, actually, the this kind of installation, I'll continue to help you. And we also have a Pablo. He got back out. He actually do not have, uh, do not have the uh, computer to work on and he lost it. He come in a little bit, but he actually, I believe that he's using Android to do it. So he, he probably cannot install as well. So I'll find time to help you, Nathan, Justin and Pablo to actually install again. Okay. I'll find different time to do it. So today I'm not going to actually stuck here. Okay. If we got stuck here and we will not have any progress. Okay. So the software installation will continue, but I will wait until you guys solve the problem you have, and then we will continue to have another session, okay? Now we go back to actually look at the class, okay? So I'll bring up my slices. I will go to Sync Java, okay? And then I'll go to uh, lecture. We will start chapter one right here, okay? I'll try to top, touch something, but does not need any program at all, but introduction of computer and computer programming, but no no software needed, okay, no software needed. So you don't rely on them. And I, before next meeting, I'll try to help the, the other three students to get ready. Is that okay? Is that okay? Hello, is that okay? Yes. Yes. So now yes. I'm going to do uh, chapter one, Sync Java. Okay. So this is what we want to uh, learn. So the goal of this book is to teach you how to sync in Java. Okay. Sync like Java. Sync like computer scientist. 
in Java. Okay. So first thing that I would like to say is Java is a language. Okay. Just like English is a language. Just like you have Chinese is a language. Or maybe uh, also like Japanese is a language. So language is a standard. Language have grammar or syntax. Okay. Right? So far okay? Right? So we write program just like you are writing some article or you write some essay, right? Is that okay? So same thing, we write programs, so our uh, Java do programming. So is this pre-AP Java uh, course, introduction to Java programming course, is this course a writing course or it is a reading course? Which one? Just a uh, writing course. Yes, writing course. So what's the difference between writing course and reading course? Uh, Noah, huh? what's the difference? Uh, writing course, like you uh, learn how to... Uh, how to write something. Yeah, and reading is like more understanding and... Yeah, and mm -hmm. then you have writing course, you need to write something. So how, what, what, how, when you take these two kind of courses, what's the different thing that you actually need to do? You, can, can you really actually take a writing course, but you just do reading, but never write anything? Can you learn writing by doing that? Yes or no? Can you take a writing course, right? Technical writing course, uh, report writing course, you take some writing course, and that writing course, you just do reading and never write anything. Can you learn writing by you doing that? No, you need both. You need to read something and write something, right? The reason you read something because you need to actually learn other people's uh, uh, patterns, writing patterns, right? Some good writers have good writing patterns. So we need to remember their writing pattern, right? And then put into our own writing activity. Is that okay? Same thing here. You learn Java writing, right? Writing some program. You learn the learn learn the writing pattern from me. So I give you some writing pattern and you put that into work. A key point is always you need to write. You can you can read learn Java programming without writing program. That won't happen, okay? You keep writing. You have to write to learn to write. Use writing to learn how to write, okay? You have to write, learn to write, okay? If you don't write, you don't submit homework, and I actually never see your homework, and how can I judge that this guy actually is really uh, knowing what to do or not? I have no way to know him, right? So if I give you just some multiple choice questions, would that help me to understand this guy can write some program or not? Of course not. You give me just A, B, C, D, I actually don't need that. I teach you how to write a program. It's not A, B, C, D, right? It's not the multiple choice. So you do well in, in those multiple choice questions, that means that you can write good program. It's totally different thing. Is that okay? So number one, this course is a writing course. And write, you need to have some language. So Java is the language. And because it's a computer programming course, you learn Java to sit and you need to use that language to write some program. And every writer is a thinker because you need to know what to write before you do writing. So same thing for programming. You need to learn, you need to know what you want to write and then put those uh, thinking into uh, words. So here, very really important, we teach how you can use think. And thinking means how to write. You actually need to write your ideas 
Is okay. So writing is the main activity here, and we need to actually look at two uh, math, engineering, and natural science, and do computing over there. Is that okay so far? Yes. That's the purpose of this book and this course. Okay, and these two also these two also of the textbook. Uh, this textbooks also two also okay. These two also ones the Alan Downey, the other one is Chris uh, Mayfield. Where are they uh, from? These two people actually they are former Google engineer. Yeah, okay. So they know how to sync in Java. Okay, key point in Java, how to write it, and also sync. What will you sync? Okay, so that's the point, key point for this course. So now, actually, uh, that's the purpose of this course, help you to learn how to write, and helping you how to write also help you to understand what is computer, also what is computer science, okay? And people want to do computer science because it's fun, right? Number one, it's fun. You may work out, uh, you can actually write some program, you may design some robot, you may design some drone, and you can you may design the autopiloting cars. So those are what uh, computer scientists do, but behind it, you need to know how to think. And the key point of how you can think, go back to math, engineering, and natural science. So that would be biology, uh, chemistry, or physics. So in high school, you need to do these courses well before you can actually become a good computer scientist, okay? Okay, so here we teach you how to think and how to solve problems. And the tool we use will be BlueJ, PGIP, and uh, the homework assignment site, wudo.eco.24. So let's go to here, okay? I send you, everyone, every single one of you, a link. So you should be able to log in here. So for example, I do log in here, okay? Click login. You go to my uh, courses, okay? Your course, uh, that's for uh, the homework, will be over here, okay? So you're going to go to this school, you just come here, you type M-O-O-D-O, uh, D-L-E, okay, Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E dot e -co 24, 24 hour coding, okay? e -co 24, and you will come to here, okay? And then your course would be this green one, this green 21, CS21, okay, green one. There are several coffee cups because the language is Java, so we have several coffee cups. But pick this one, that's your course. Okay, here we have chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, all kind of things here. You click on chapter one. Okay. So you click on chapter one. Here we have some description and chapter one. Here it has a PDF. Click on PDF. You will see Sync Java, okay? And all the slices over here, okay? So why, what's this? This one is the textbook. And we actually put it in two slices, uh, PDF files. Okay, so if something show on this page, you don't need to take notes, is that okay? Because you already have something you can study. So just download this one to your local computer. So here we click this one, download, and then maybe you go to your directory, okay? So let me see, for example, I go to uh, this directory. So let me create a student over here. I create a new session called session C, okay? And go to session C, I create a directory called uh, Jaden. Let's assume that I'm him and then I download it, okay? So I download a file to the directory, and after that, I can use uh, this PDF to read it. Acrobat uh, reader for PDF to read it, 
Is that okay? So you don't need to take too much note, but you still need to have one or one uh, one uh, notebook so you can actually take notes. Okay. Second one is a sample code, so you can download it. Okay, you can download it to a director directory. So that create it. Okay. And then here, since in here, I go to Jaden's directory. Let me uh, save it there. Okay, after I save it, I do show folder. And I double click on this one because I have PZ. Because I have PZ, so I can actually do extraction for it. Okay. So here I have example. In under example, I have example one. So here, same thing, I come to here, I double click on package, okay? And then I have hello and goodbye, okay? This hello and goodbye are two examples for chapter one, okay? So I download from simple call and I get these two, hello and uh, goodbye. So I double click on it, it actually the hello function. So let me do this one, I do copy, okay? And I paste some checkbox, so you can copy from checkbox uh, to actually uh, what you can actually do from the chip box, you actually can copy that put into your program and that will work. Is that okay? So, here let me see can I actually do sharing for my files? Check in, okay? Here let me see. Okay, I cannot add file to here. It's okay, but that uh, you can do it, okay. So here I have another program called Goodbye. So I can actually uh, compile and run. That would actually have the uh, Goodbye cool world. The only difference right here is actually it uses a print, not print LN. So print actually would just print Goodbye and stop. Print LN, LN means line. So you will actually print something and then change it for a new line. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. So right here I compile and run it. And run it, this goodbye will be in one line. Because of what? Because my print, I do not change it for a new line. So crew wall will connect it to it, okay? So here, if I actually do print LN also on here, then the, then the whole two statement will print in two lines. Is that okay? So goodbye one line, crew or one line. So that's the difference. Print without LN will not change for a new line. Print with LN, that actually LN means line. So that will print this thing and then return to the next line. Is that okay? Return yeah. to the head of the uh, first line. So here, first one, red one is your uh, slices. Purple one, purple one is your simple code. So I download it and then I check it here, okay? Is that okay so far? So one, I have a quiz, come here. So every time I do a lecture, Okay, I teach a lecture and say I fin you finish chapter one, right? After you teach, finish chapter one, you go back to read your textbook. That actually is over here, right? Uh, the teach I show you before. So you do reading for the chapter's uh, material, then you do quiz. After doing quiz, you do exercise. After exercise, you work on project. Is okay? Yes. So, don't ask me where are the, 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 the homework, okay? Don't ask me where are the homework. The homework is on this website. So you need to work on quiz and project and programming project. So this is the exercise one actually is the homework that assigned by for chapter one. Now, that is the homework assigned by chapter one, okay? 
So the homework assignment chapter one is inside your textbook. Inside your textbook right here. And you go to chapter one and move down. Here you have exercise, exercise one, two, three, and you work on those problems and uh, actually uh, submit file. Submit to where? Submit to this school. You click the chapter one. Say some of student already uh, submit homework. So I look at submission. Say here we have Aiden, we have Derek. So for example, that he actually has some progress. So he has some homework here and I will download. Say I still use Jalen as examples, I put it here. So suppose Jalen uh, has the homework. So let me show it here. Same thing, I download it, I will actually uh, extract it, okay? I extract it and I will be able to see it, okay? So now I go to Hello World, and this is only one Hello World. Uh, I don't have, I don't have uh, anywhere to, any how to actually uh, start it. So I copy my package. And over here, I pass my package, and I do double click. So when you download some Java file, but you don't have package, you copy one, and it will work. Okay, copy one to there, it will work. And compile, and run. Is okay. Any question so far up to here? Any question? No. Maybe seems seems okay. So actually, I'm teaching you how to download some code from the website. Okay. And I look at it. Okay. Say I, uh, for example, I come to here, right? And I can do. Okay. I see. Uh, what? Uh, Jordan. Okay. Great. And I will put my comment over here and then put, okay, 100, I will do 100 and save. Is that okay? And save. So that's the way we do, I do grading for your homework, okay? And you need to submit uh, the homework actually from from here. Not sending me email. You put it here. Because you put it here, I have the grade report. So I can look at all the students I have right now, right? A few students submit, some of them don't have not submit, okay? And then they have a chapter one project. And they also have quiz score. Is that okay? They also have quiz score. So I can send you some great report. You, you need me to send a report. Is that okay? Is that okay so far? Yeah, so, so if say you got a score of 40, right? So you got a score of 40. I actually know that where you stand in the class. We have 190, uh, 66, 88. So listen, 66 actually is too low, right? Yeah, it's too low. So actually, if you you may score 42, and I say, okay, this guy actually probably is too, too far away behind, right? If he cannot handle the quiz, it's okay. <clears throat> so that's my homework side. Okay, my school website is called ecall24.com. Okay, you will lead to my school website, and over here you click EC Lab. EC Lab means your homework site, and you will also come to here. Okay, that's one way you can come to here. Second way you can come to the homework site would be moodleeco 24 and then .com. You also come to here. Is okay? Two ways you can come to here. One is by the e, uh, eco 24 and you click the e, e -C lab. Okay? Second way you click, uh, you type in moodleeco 24com Okay? Any question? So this is a school website I'll copy to you, okay? School website I'll copy to the chip box. So this 
So let me, let me uh, put it here. The school with that is over here. Okay, that's my school with that. Okay, and then let me also uh, copy the homework side. But you don't need to have this slash me, okay? This will be okay. Two side, one homework side, one uh, school side. Is that okay? Yes. And you need to submit homework through here, okay? You don't, uh, I don't accept you to send email, okay? But, and also you need to learn how to submit a, a homework as well, okay? So please do that, okay? Okay, so that one actually we talk about how to submit homework. And let's go into here again. Let me use this one. I go to check that one. So I have give you the slices, sample code, also doing quiz and, and homework. Under here, I may also have extra information. And I will bring you some more information that you can read. Is that okay? Is yes. that okay? There are some more information you can read. So two more two important uh, sites. One is this uh, Trinket, Trinket Java 2. We use that as a textbook. The other one is the eco lab. Or you do moodle.eco24.com or you do eco24.com slash moodle. Three way you can all go to the homework. So one textbook site one uh, homework site, okay? And that's how to uh, submit homework, okay? And here we talk about the resources we have and the software we use, okay? So this chapter one, we introduce to computer. Chapter one, we do introduction to computer. And then programming language and compiler. So one, we have Java language Programming environment and the introduction to programming flow. Is that okay? Yes. These are the topic we are going to do in chapter one. So today, probably not going to pro do some programming. So I may go over the introduction to computer and maybe this one. And I also need to reserve another session for Nathan, Justin, and maybe. Uh, Actually, Pablo, okay, Pablo, Pablo, okay, is okay? For installation of the software, okay? So let's go to computer. What What is computer? So what is computer? Here, let me see, okay, actually, uh, let me see, I have, how about you then? What is a computer over here? Which? is a computer over here. Uh, what do you mean? What, what is a computer? In this, uh, in this uh, image, what is a computer? What is a computer? Yeah, what in this chart is a computer? Uh, the computer in the back, I'm guessing. Hmm? Yeah, guessing, but which one? The computer in the back, the opt where the opposite disk drive is pointing at. This one? Uh, no, the one on the left of it. This one? Yeah. This one is actually we call it base unit. But if you don't have monitor, it won't work, right? You won't work, right? It's yeah, a it won't work for that one. Yeah, but if you don't have keyboard mouse, you won't work, right? Yeah. So, well, depends on which one you think about. If it is actually narrow sense, computer as a narrow sense is this bus. We call it sometimes call it base unit or CPU. Okay, sometimes, sometimes some people call it CPU, but that's a wrong term. So let's assume that this is base unit. Okay, so we have input device like keyboard mouse that will send the data into there. We have output device like monitor and speaker but you can have the audio or video coming out of the computer. But the one who really do syncing or computing is this box, right? 
But if that actually is a narrow sense, computer, narrow sense for computer. Why sense for computer is the whole thing is a computer. Is that okay? It is a computer system. You see here, it says it's a computer system. Is that okay? It includes everything you see here. Not the boundary of the box. The whole thing actually is a computer. So a computer may actually in include a CPU, a memory, a I.O. controller, and hard disk, floppy disk drive, CD-ROM, networking device, mouse, keyboard, monitor, printer. Okay? So that actually the whole thing is a computer. And the base unit, the base unit actually is a computer with a multiple, and that actually, well, the base unit, including the multiple and uh, CD, uh, uh, actually, uh, floppy drive. So it may be something that is keyboard mouse, something that is, okay. This actually is a uh, computer, the box we see in the previous page. Is that okay? So this one is a computer. So what is CPU? CPU sometimes is a, a piece of a processor inside the middle, in the middle. So this one actually is the CPU. The central processing unit. So all the data are processed over here, okay? All the data are processed here. This is a processing unit. So, have you heard of the processor i3, i5, i7? Have you heard of it? What, what are these? Uh, Intel. Intel processor, yes. And AMD has AMD processor, right? And this processor is a control, com computing unit. So basically, it's, we call it central, central uh, processor unit. So the, the computer we see here, this box, including the board, including the, uh, the CPU and the memory board, including the board we see. So base unit is bigger than that. Is that okay? Is that okay? So base unit including the CPU. Including the CPU. And the CPU actually is the CPU we talk about here. Okay? Is that okay? And the whole thing is on the multiple. The whole thing is on the multiple. So whatever you've seen over here, that's conceptual diagram. This whole thing is a conceptual diagram. And this uh, conceptual, uh, this uh, whole thing is actually more or less on the multiple here. Okay? It's more or less on this uh, multiple here. This one we call it multiple. Hey, how comes my, it keeps going. So here this one called multiple. So multiple is the main board that you put your CPU in there, your, your different chip over there, your communication module over there, okay? So what's this guy? What's this guy for? Noah, what's this guy for? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. Mm -hmm. What's the DTR thing? I'm not sure. Are you doing robotics? Uh, no. No, you are not. So, here we have a, a, a team. Team is dual in line memory module. So, DDR is double data rate for uh, memory module. So, here, here you have DDR4. DDR4 means that's a standard for hardware. It's called dual data rate. So dual data rate double uh, DDR4, pro is a number protocol, just like USB 2, USB 3, okay? So that H is a higher speed uh, DDR memory. And it's called dual inline memory module. So basically, you plug in some memory card over here, is that okay? And this memory card, we call it dotable, because a smaller card, smaller ball, and dotable being uh, plugged onto the multiple. Is that okay? So when you assemble a, a computer by yourself, you buy some of the multiple, you buy some of the dotable, you buy 
the the uh, fan, you buy a CD-ROM, you buy a hard disk, and you you buy a few cable, and then you buy a box, and then you can assemble a computer for yourself. Is that okay? And this slot, this two slot, is called memory module insertion of the memory module. Okay. So that one, if you insert something, that would be the memory we talk about here on the right hand side. That's the memory. This one is the memory. Is that okay? So what's the memory for? Justin, what's the memory for? Why why your computer need memory? Hi Justin. Hear me? I just didn't hear me. I just didn't you hear me or no? Hello? I just didn't do you hear me? Hmm. Do not hear me. How about you then? Um, what, what was the question? What, 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 uh, what's the memory for? Uh, to store everything on the computer. Well, when you store data, you need to put it there. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So here, let's assume that we have a program. Okay. So the program is A plus B equals C. So we do A equals 3, B equals 4, and then A plus B equals C. So in the memory, I put some location, put A equals three over there. B, I put a four over there. So when we do computing for C equals A plus B, we will load the memory uh, for the A to register. So R1 would be three. Then we load four into a register. So R2 would be four. Two of them doing calculation and then send back to memory C location, that would be seven. Is that okay? So when your program works, the data actually uh, actually uh, will be loaded to your memory first and then maybe loaded to CPU and do calculation and send back to memory. Is that okay? So memory is somewhat like a whiteboard. You do a lot of calculations so people put your writing into memory. And memory just like something that you keep uh, memory is that okay? Yes. Yeah? And then that's actually the memory uh, total for that you actually uh, put over here. That's total. So what is the VGA for? Uh, Jaden, what's the VGA for? Or HDMI for? <coughs> Have you heard of HDMI or VGA, these two? It's to like connect and like transfer like different things. To where? Um, to like the computer. I don't know. No. Have you heard of HDMI? We... You connect to your TV. Oh yeah. So that one connected to TV. VGA also connected to TV. Okay. So you connect to TV or connect to the monitor. So actually these two ports is connecting your box to the monitor. Is that okay? Yes. So here basically here you have this HDMI. These two ports actually connected to a monitor over there. So it's outside here. Okay. Where to plug in my keyboard and mouse? Where, uh, Jaden, where could I uh, plug in my keyboard mouse? USB. Yeah, plug in USB. So your mouse will be actually going to here. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, that's USB. So keyboard mouse will plug in there, and there are some people. Where could I, uh, actually, where is my Wi Fi? Where's my Wi-Fi so I can connect my computer to internet? Where's my Wi-Fi? Hello, where's my Wi-Fi? Uh, this one for Justin, are you there? 
Uh, Justin, I call you again. Are you there? He said he can't hear nothing. What? Justin said he can't hear nothing. Oh, she, she, he can't say anything. No, he can't hear nothing. He cannot hear anything? Yeah, that's what he, told, uh, he texted me. What happened? Then he cannot, he actually is not in here. So anyway, uh, let me see. Okay. So next time, a lot of students need to improve the hallway, okay? Otherwise, we cannot uh, continue. So the Wi-Fi is over here. Is that okay? If you have Ethernet, then Ethernet will plug into here. Ethernet is a wire cable for internet, okay? So these are two locations you can connect your computer to an internet. Why one is wire, the other one is without wire. It's a wireless, okay? So next one, where is the hard disk connected to? If I buy a two terabyte hard disk, where should I connect it to? Which one will connect to hard disk? Anybody know? This is SATA you connect the hard disk to. Or you may use the East PCI Express as an A down card, and that will connect it to a, a hard disk. Is that okay? These yeah. are two locations you can uh, plug in your, uh, your hard disk. Okay? And CPU power is the fan and power box. Fan and power box connected to here. Okay? So that's roughly the, the overall uh, diagram for a computer. This one is a very tiny bowl. This is a tiny bowl, okay? So if you try to buy computer bowl, model bowl, you will actually have a PC model bowl. You type feature size. Okay. So monobol size you have mini TS, micro ATS, standard ATS, okay? That's not that's not that only that, okay? You can have different uh, size. Is that okay? Some of one like the one I show only have one two memory slice and then one PCI express. But some of them are really big. Like this uh this one maybe six different PCI express. Is that okay? So multiple is on, not only one kind. They are of different standard and different size. Okay? It really not only one, one kind of a car. It actually ha can be uh, multiple uh, size. Is that okay? Some bigger, some smaller. That may, some use for notebook, some use for desktop computer, some use for game station. Is that okay? And some of them, they look very quick, uh, very cool now, okay? They have a different uh, fan or a different uh, heat sink to help cooling down the device. Is that okay? So that's the motherboard, okay? So that's the computer, okay? Any questions so far? Okay. So, because I want to finish computer and the programming, we will do it next time. Is that okay? So now it's nine, almost nine thirty. Any questions so far? No. Nope. Okay. So next one. This time I don't assign homework to you because we haven't finished chapter one. We do go over the installation of software. Okay. This one I'll redo it because some students don't have it. Okay. What will we do? So three, four students, we need to make sure you have the following thing. You need to have a PC to use. Second, you need to have a headset so you can say something, you can actually uh, hear something, okay? And so on, you must prepare a notebook so you can write something that I talk. Number four, you actually need to install all this hardware somewhere. Is that okay? These are the basic requirements right now. Number five, please log in the Moodle account, okay? And some children, I haven't given you one, so I will welcome you, okay? So Moodle equal, the equal 24, okay? 
I'll give you a, a uh, account for it, okay? And then Pablo, maybe I also give him an account. And please make sure that you get whatever hardware needed and make sure you yourself can be doing this online course. So next time, please prepare your peak a web camera, you need a camera so that people can see you. Number two, please have your headset so that people can hear you, okay? And then try to install all the software and read whatever I have told so far, but this time we don't have uh, homework. We probably will see you next uh, Saturday night, eight o'clock again, and then in between this week's uh, meeting and next week's meeting, I try a time to help the student who haven't installed software to install it. Is that okay so far? Yeah. Any question? Any question? Hello. Any question? No. No. No question. We will be. Uh, we will dismiss here. Okay. So see you on next uh, Saturday, 8 o'clock, and in between, I'll send out notice for those students who have not installed software, okay? Good night, then. Good Mr. Night. Chong? Yes, yes. Question? Uh, can, can I and Nathan stay in this line? Because uh, I don't think we, we just want to check that we, we installed everything that's needed. Yeah, yeah, okay, you stay. Anyone who has still have questions, you can stay, yes. Okay, so we we figure out how to do the audio. So now I think we can talk to you, but this yeah, now we okay. cannot talk. We can to you. continue. Yes. So you share so, your screen, uh, please. You share your screen, please. So for student who actually uh, have something to do, you can leave. Okay. Otherwise, uh, you want to stay watching the installation. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. So, sorry. Um, so yeah. we are able to install, these are the three programs and we are able I to- I think he Kaiser. installed, uh, he installed a Bruce already. Yeah. He, so he, he these, everything. Yeah, good. So okay. now actually, uh, let's, let's, let me try to control. He's, uh, for some reason, his uh, room doesn't allow me to set his uh, programming environment. So you need to check, he need to give me the, uh, the the authority so that I can actually help him to if sometime that I need to uh, actually do it I can do it so you know what I'm saying I try to control yeah I, issues, but I can are you able to I'm not actually I don't see it right now and only you only uh, lesson has the problem other students I see to be okay, I can all control their uh, scene. Yeah, all we did just now was we uh, we reload this connection. That's yes. why he left the meeting for like a minute, and then when we come back in, we were able yeah. to do the audio. So I think there uh, is a setting issue, but I cannot see it right now because I'm remote. I have no way of knowing why you are disabled. You know what I'm saying? I have no way to know yeah. you. Only you, your side can pick it up. But it's okay. Let's go back to the previous one. Close this uh, window. Uh, actually, minimize it. Yeah. Double click on Blue Jay. I tell you what to do. Okay. Then you bring up your Blue Jay, right? You bring up your Blue Jay. This one is okay. Uh, you click the project. You click the project. Okay. Click the new project, please new project yeah and then choose please choose. right hand side choose okay again you actually go to here you click the list pc on the left side this pc this pc yeah so uh, scroll down make, make the window a little bit bigger please yeah you see the c drive double click on c drive that's your hard disk Okay, on here you right click, right click, new folder. No, 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 right click. Don't touch anything. Don't right touch click, anything. don't touch anything. Yeah, here, here, it's okay. It no, 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 here. So in this screen, yeah, you right, do click, right click, right click, new. Okay, and then you new. Go to new, yeah. 
folder, please. Folder. Yeah. Delete it. Delete the, the, the new folder. Delete it. Yeah. And then type in Nathan, please. N-A-T-H-A-N. Yeah, good. And then uh, hit return. Hit return key. Double click on the Nathan. Okay. Now you are in the C drive under Nathan directory, right? Send in here, please. Right click. Right click. New. New a folder. So under C drive, you may have different people, right? Or you have different project or different thing. So here type Java, please. Yes, good. Double click on Java. And, and then right click again. Right click again, new folder, new folder. Yeah. And here you delete everything. Here you type uh, blue J, B L U E J, capital J. Yeah, it's okay. Hit return. Select the book, uh, select that, uh, select blue J. Select. Yeah, select folder. There's a select folder button below, below. Below it, there's a select, yeah, select folder. Yes. So here, go to the name. Go to name, delete it. Yeah, type chapter one. So this one for you to store chapter one. And uh, no space between one and chapter. No space, yes. Okay, hit OK. So now you create a project called chapter one, but that chapter one under C drive, C drive you have Nathan, under C Nathan you have Java, under Java you have uh, Buje, under Buje you have chapter one. Is that okay? Now new class, please. Yes. Yeah. New class, please. New class. Next one, new class. Type in hello. Yeah, hit OK. Uh, double click on hello. Okay, delete the blue one on top of public, before public, before public, delete that one. Yeah, and delete, delete, and then delete anything in the middle, white and yellow stripes, any white and yellow stripe, delete them. White and yellow, delete. Yeah, keep the last one, keep the, uh, you miss it. Right, right, type a curly brace, right side curly brace. Right side curly brace. No, that, that's a parenthesis. Curly, curly, curly. curly brace means a little bit curly. When you see it, it's curly. Yeah, okay. In between then, hit return. In between left and right one, hit return. Now here you type public, P-U-B-L-I-C, public. A lowercase p, please. Lowercase p. Yeah, and lowercase space, lowercase static. Yes. Okay, space, V O I D, void. V O I D, space, M A I N, main, main, main program, main function. Okay, left, right, uh, parenthesis. Left, right, parenthesis. Left, right, parenthesis? Yeah, uh, left, right. A pair of parenthesis, left and right, yeah. Inside it, inside it. Inside the parenthesis, type string inside S T R I N G capital S capital S. Left right brackets. Brackets are the square one. Left right brackets. No, not that one. The bracket. Square one, yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. Space A R G S. Space, no, up to the brackets, up to the bracket, not this one, not here, up to the brackets, right here. yeah, space, right. up right to here, the sorry. brackets, yeah, ARGS, ARGS, ARGS means arguments, okay, to the end of the line, left right uh, curly brace, to the end of the line, the end of the line, yeah, left right curly braces. Left right curly no. braces. Yeah. Left right curly braces. Don't don't look at it. Left right curly braces. These are brackets. 
curly braids. Curly one. That's one? Yes. In the middle, he returned. In the middle, he returned. Yes. One more. Okay. Previous line, the mid, the empty line, yeah. Type capital S system dot out dot type print line. System, uh, say again. System dot out. S Y S T E M system dot out. That that is the period. Don't leave space. That out O U T. That P R I N T L N print line. Uh, P R I N T L N. That P R I N T. That that means a period. That means period. Yeah. Yeah. L N. Yeah. Left right uh, parenthesis. Mm -hmm. Left and right no. parenthesis. Yes. Parenthesis. Yeah. Inside a parenthesis. Double quote, double quote. Double quote is a quotation mark. Double quote, double quote. Inside double quote, double quote. Inside there, type welcome to Java. Okay, to the end of the line, semicolon. Okay, semicolon, yeah. Click compile. No, 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 click, click, not type it. There's a compile button. Compile, yes. Go back to the project view, the one with the hello called project view. Uh, touch the hello, touch the hello. Hey, hey you hello, mm -hmm. yeah. Right click, right click. Main pro function, main, second one. Click on second one, click. Hit okay, hit okay, yeah. I give you a problem, is okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you installed it already and you are able to write the first program. So I will send out this video later after I process the video. Please follow step by step. We do it again. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, got yeah? it. Got it? Yes. And as for your Zoom control, please, you have two people, three people, try uh, practice it at home. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that somebody yeah. can control your machine. I cannot see it because I'm not on your side, right? Okay. Are you in the Northern California or Southern California? Uh, we're not. We're in Fremont. Uh, we're in Fremont. Oh, yeah, in Fremont. Okay, okay, it's good. Where Where are you? Uh, the Maori uh, and 880. Oh, okay, okay. So, where are you going to school? Um, he's going to St. Francis. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah, I, we just live around bay, uh, the bus station, okay? Okay. Oh, bus station. Yeah, yeah, Near not, far, not, not too far. So, yeah, so that's about it. Any more question? No, so we'll review the video because then he was lost. Yeah, the yeah, review the video and we do it, okay? Yeah, we'll do that. We do it. Thank you yeah. so much. And then we will have meeting next Saturday, same time. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Good night then. Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night.